Okay, we are up to the stomacher. That's the final part of this dress. Um, it's pretty simple. I'm not even going to actually sew it on camera for you since it's just putting these two pieces together. And what you're going to do is you're just going to sew all the way around and you're just going to leave about an inch opening on the side and then you'll be able to uh, turn it inside out. Um, the pattern uh, calls for using um, two different stomachers so you have a bunch of different options. The only thing I need to um, mention is when you're doing your lace, um, if you're doing lace on the top up here, what you have to do is you have to make sure you don't get that lace in your side seam. So if I'm going to say this is my lace and I'm going to sew this on top of the stomacher so it will pop up like this on the stomacher after I finish sewing it, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, tuck your, your ends in a little bit and get it at least a quarter of an inch away from the edge so you don't sew it into the side seams. What I do is I sew my lace on and then I put my other piece on like this and I make sure that that lace isn't get, it won't get caught in that seam so I will take a pin and I will pin here and then sew it sew the rest of the way around and that way I know for sure that when I turn it inside out that lace isn't going to be caught in that side seam anywhere and laid, it'll come out like this and you won't be able to have it sticking up on the top. Um, the pattern calls for you to use just regular snaps all the way around. It calls for three snaps and if you look at the pattern don't have that one pattern piece, but if you look at the pattern, it gives you exactly the placement for the, um, um, let me see if I can find it here, it gives you the placement for um, all your snaps right there on there. They also give you the option that have the lace with the pearl in the center, but it gives you one, two, three snaps. I chose not to do the snaps, I decided to do the um, buttons. So what I ended up doing was, um, I don't know, um, there's a, um, a lady named Joanne who has a bunch of videos on YouTube. She suggested I try um, Joanne's Minis if you're looking for um, her channel. She's got a great channel. Anyway, she suggested I use um, like a, a, a loop hook to put the stomachers on instead of trying to do the buttonholes because um, when I said in one of the videos the buttonholes weren't wide enough to work on the dolls but it was just because I lined this it was just because I lined this um, little bodice and um, that's why I got it a little tight around here and I thought I would have to make it wider I tried making it wider and I ended up having to go back to the original size uh, for the dresses because um, the way I had it set with the buttonholes too on the side like that with the regular stomacher was perfect for the dresses. Here was another um, here's another option for that same um, stomacher pattern. This one though what I did is I took the pattern and um, let me get her hair out of the way. I took the pattern and I cut the back completely in half and I gave myself about a um, extra three quarters of an inch on each side of the back piece and I was able to um, sew the stomacher in so I didn't even have to um, worry about putting any kind of snaps or buttons or anything like that. That's another option too if you want to do it this way. And if you uh, really don't like having to put snaps in a stomacher like this and you want the whole dress to um, uh, uh, be like this top here. You can just uh, uh, make a, a, a top just like this and just go with the, well you really couldn't, you, I guess you could. You could do it and, and then uh, even put a slit down the back of the dress so it, you don't even have to worry about um, dealing with the buttons or the snaps or anything like that if you don't want to. But this makes a really cute blouse. Um, as far as the lace around this one, I put I sewed my lace in after I finished the whole outfit. I didn't even um, I didn't even bother trying to deal with putting the lace on before I turned it inside out. It just wasn't worth it. 
But anyway, that's the same uh, bodice, but it just takes you into modern day version of the same same outfit. Um, as far as um, the one that um, this is how it turned out. Um, I was everything I was I was happy with pretty much all of it except I I wish I would have lined up my edges like I said with my um, with my um, uh, pattern of my pat of of the uh, fabric pattern but anyway that's what it, uh, the um, one I did on the video this is just a plain um, uh, plain green I didn't do anything fancy on this stomacher. I just put the two buttons in and if you look on the inside of the dress I just lined the two buttons. So um, if you want to uh, make sure you get your line, your buttons lined up right, what you do is you just put your stomacher in your dress where you think you're going to want it and then pin it down on each side. Let me just get a couple pins so you can see what I mean. Oh, so the buttons are in the way. Try and pin it on so it's away from where you can um, get it lined up. So put your stomacher where you want it. Put pins in it away from the outside. And then once you've got your um, buttons in, you'll be able to open it up and then make, take pins and pin and mark exactly where you want those buttonholes to go to match the buttonholes in the stomacher on your outfit. And that's what I did. I just lined them up. And, and two seems to be working okay on these outfits. But, you know, you can always go and do the snaps if you want to deal with all those snaps. Um, I didn't like the idea of the snaps because um, I've had some old things that I made and put snaps in. And just from just being sitting around the house in the humidity, um, they've rusted. Some of them just have rusted out. Even though they say they're nickel plated in brass, they still... Um, just in the humidity in the air have a tendency to rust so you know you go through a lot of work on these dresses and you really don't want to have to deal with um, that kind of rust on your um, outfits after you work so hard putting them together but anyway that's uh, Kyla's final dress I also finished off um, Dana's outfit For Dana's outfit, what I did was I took the, um, let me get her here, I took the, the underskirt, and for the underskirt, I did the same um, garland design that I did on that red dress at Christmas time, that red skirt at Christmas time, and when you did that, when I did that garland on the outside, I was able to give you that um, fluff so you didn't even have to wear a skirt or anything it just fluffed everything out so what I did on here on her on the whole outside instead of doing a um, instead of doing a um, runching all the way around the outside I got this um, pink and white lace um, I got this on a roll at um, Hobby Lobby if you go to Hobby Lobby and look in the trims they've got the most beautiful trims and I mean, it just really makes it look nice, and you didn't really even go through all that much work to um, to um, get um, get it to look so nice. So that's an easy way of doing it, as far as the stomachers go. Um, I used a, a flat lace on here, and um, one of the nice things about this flat lace, it'll cover the whole stomacher, and you can put your design underneath and put the lace over top, and you can actually see your design underneath the the stomacher which is a really cute design. Um, these um, little uh, uh, pink flowers really look cute too on the stomachers and I got another set of um, these little roses so if you really want to add some um, I mean there's just so many ways you can embellish these to really make them look cute and um, just by adding a little some little silk flowers on there and you can really um, make the design stand out. There's just so many things you can do. You can make these really opulent or really plain. Um, there's a lady on, um, it's called, um, I think it's MHD Design. She sells her patterns on um, um, eBay. And she does like Lady Pompadour designs. She does the most gorgeous designs. I don't know if you've ever seen her. 
but if you really want to uh, see some classy outfits, um, you can go to eBay and, and, and um, look for um, doll doll patterns. But these are the um, ball jointed dolls. But if you'll notice, she has that wrenching all the way around. Not only her underskirts, but also up her sides. She does it across the top of her stomacher. Um, let me see if I can find the other one she does. Here, this is another one she sells this pattern um, on eBay. Her patterns are $18.50, but they're so beautiful that they're worth it. I hope you can see that. But she's got the uh, gathering all the way around here. She's got the um, small roses that go all the different colors around here. She does the most beautiful designs ever. Now, as far as, um, um, let me, this is not the one I'm looking for. The, um, all of Polonaise, the design, you can use the same pattern for Felicity's outfit, but let me see if I can find one that works better. Here, see the little gathering in the back of the, that's the only difference. So you can go all of Polonaise and it's just taking the overskirt and, and scrunching it up either with ribbons or just little um, scrunches and little knots tied on here will give you that runch look in the back and you can um, make a, a gown. A la polonaise, they call it the a la polonaise fashion. But there's just so many things you can do. You can do the pirate designs. Uh, I don't know if I have a pirate designs, but here's all that wrenching. This was a common design back then, uh, where they've taken the um, the designs and done the wrenching all the way around the the pattern. Let me see if I can find that other one, the pink one. See how they did the roses? So you can make these as fancy as you want. And even even you can even um, gather the underskirt to get that really pretty design underneath. And these little um, bows uh, in, uh, in different sizes all the way down, they go descending size. That was common during that time. And also wearing that ribbon around the neck was common. There's just so many things you can do. But anyway, that's um, you can use your embroidery machine and get really fancy stomachers. It's just um, gorgeous. Some of the stomachers I saw also had um, a, a um, string coming out on each side of it, and that way it was able to um, tie it around the waist, and then they would pin these on around the side of the front of the dress. Oh, here it is right here. See, they tied it on. There's just so many things you can do. You can go so fancy. This is an actual... A postcard from that time frame, the 1800s, and this was one of the um, dresses um, of, of that age. And you can see how elaborate they did their hairs, and uh, just 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 so many things you can do. Anyway, um, I think that's the end of the series. So um, I hope you enjoyed it, and um, email me if you have any questions, and um, have fun with this dress. It's just like I say, you can go modern with it, or you can go, you can go um, really elaborate. You can go, you know. There's just so many things you can do with these doll clothes. So anyway, okay, I'll talk to you later.